Another big move from the president involves so-called ghost guns. Those are guns that can be built with kits and are hard to trace and do not require any kind of background checks. Dave, these ghost guns are all too familiar for police in Philadelphia. They are. The president wants to close a loophole that allows just about anyone, including a convicted felon, to buy one online. Again, because there's no background check and no serial numbers to trace. That's a big problem in Philadelphia. You get a kit, you get it in the mail, takes a couple tools. They're called ghost guns, and police say these easy-to-assemble, untraceable handguns are popping up at crime scenes and on street corners all over Philadelphia. These ghost guns, they're a real issue for us down here in South Philly. Two weeks ago, this real-time crime camera spotted a suspect displaying this ghost gun on the street at 21st and McKean. Officers arrived. He was quickly arrested. Out of all the guns we recovered from the beginning of the year, about almost 15% of them are these ghost guns. Police say this ghost gun with an extended magazine was taken away from a female member of South Philly's notorious 5th Street gang here off McClellan Street. Investigators say it's no secret who has these guns. Some of our most violent people, people with a lot of arrest, a lot of uh, prior contacts with law enforcement. Attorney General Josh Shapiro says 250 ghost guns, including assault rifles, were seized in Philly last year. Already this year, close to 200. Here's Shapiro after four recent ghost gun arrests. They assembled them quickly, and then they sold them to people on the streets of Philadelphia who want to commit crimes, and in some cases did. Shapiro's gun task force tracks illegal ghost gun dealers who are selling them on the street. He recently got the operator of the state's largest gun show to agree to stop selling ghost guns at shows. Police are happy the president wants the sale of ghost guns treated just like traditional firearms with serial numbers and background checks. If we could get these guns out of these hands, then we'll, we'll, we'll be a lot safer city. Now, the president also wants to renew the nationwide ban on assault weapons that expired in 2004. That's going to be an uphill fight with Congress. There were 10,000 ghost guns taken off the street in 2019. Experts tell me tonight that number has increased dramatically in the past two years. Hmm. Shana? Scary stuff. Dave Schratweiser, live for us at police headquarters.